Welcome everyone to World Aquarium Singapore. So today I'm going to show you what happened when I set up my no CO2, no filter, no palm, no fertilizer, uh, natural tank. I want to see like uh, from day 0 to day 25 what will happen to my tank all right, uh, without uh, any um, pump at all like a really really low tank so uh, here it goes all right so at day zero I went to uh, the aquarium shop all right Nanyang and bought uh, like rocks uh, aqua hardscape uh, wood and you know, some plants all right uh, soy all right I bought uh, Top tropical tropical soil and also the most important thing is the uh, garden soil uh, all right I bought it uh, not from this shop but from an NTUC uh, local store all right so uh, that soil will decompose and release out uh, CO2 all right so uh, day one all right so day one I uh, the tank arrived alright as you can see this tank it got uh, one more additional layer I want to put it on top uh, uh, some like uh, those are uh, wabikusa and uh, immerse uh, plant alright and floating plants are very very important for no CO2 low tank tank because it absorb all the ammonia the bad uh, nitrogen Nitrite, nitrate all right so this is a very very important conversion process because you don't have the beneficial uh, bacteria it takes longer time to grow the beneficial bacteria because you don't have a uh, water flow okay so as you can see I've uh, set up the hardscape and the plants you know, and the soil I kept it uh, I kept the garden soil with a layer of uh, gravel as you can see the lighter gravel on the right hand side and also you can see uh, immediately all, right, all the plants uh, started uh, purling and purling non-stop wow to my surprise and you know it's like most all of the plants are purling immediately and above I also show uh, those plants which I uh, bought and their growth uh, rate as well most of plants uh, grow uh, pretty good, pretty well. Yeah. All right, and for sunlight, uh, I have uh, east west sun and a little bit of shade. All right, so uh, the plant I think really like the sunlight and it pulls even more. All right, and I was at day seven and was looking at my Venus Nera plants. All right, like. Uh, gigantic plants as well and saw them oh what what is that then it was like purling and purling and purling, and purling. so much of um, bubbles and happening all around uh, so that's why I thought of sharing this and also my uh, salvinia natas was like uh, growing a lot a lot of plantlet it just like covered the whole thing uh, after I think briefly just like one week plus all right and the water has seen growth is pretty good as well so it was like very beautiful purple colored roots and my well plants are like having a uh, planted uh, shoots now they have some small uh, shoots growing out and uh, multiple um, shoots not just one I'll say there's uh, quite a lot of CO2 because I don't have any uh, huge uh, water agitation at all like uh, water pump, water flow so the CO2 is kept inside the water that's why all the purlings are happening and as you can see at this stage right, the water is quite dense and it started to form a, a microorganism and a lot of them and my immense pennyworth is growing very tall the leaves are like growing like very huge and day 15 right I got lots of few pots copy pots and isopods uh, swimming around but to my surprise actually I zoom in 10 times and uh, look at them and also a lot of small baby snails as well Alright, at this stage, right, the bacteria are like consuming the wood and you know, uh, exploding, and the wood has a white fungus over it. I 
as you see, can see, I uh, need to top up uh, with the chlorinated water because it's exposed to the sun for both of these tanks, right? And another test, uh, it shows uh, 0 ppm for ammonia, alright? And that's a good sign. Lots of water bug activities, small creature microorganism is starting to explode, wow, to my surprise. And this is my one of my biggest surprise a boring beetle. It actually uh, make multi many many holes, round holes inside my wood. <laughs> Look at that. I'm also able to see water striders. Okay, at this point of time, right, I'm uh, adding in the uh, ghost streams, alright, and also the cleanup crew to clean up the tank. So as you can see at day 20, my tank, all the plants are like, like, like trying to like, uh, max out or grow up or explode. So let's see some of the plants' uh, names. Alright, Rotalia rotodinfonia very very beautiful submerge and emerge alright these are wabikusa one of the very very important clear crew is my albino rams horn snails i love them so much all the floaters like red road and all the other floaters are growing many many plantlets segregatara sabulata this one uh, my best plant is like exploding and covering the uh, mid foreground Next plant, uh, Fanwolf. These are not Hornwolf, but Fanwolf. Very beautiful, red and uh, green as well. Tiger Lotus and Ludwiger plants growing really healthy. Very, very nice. Lots of roots coming up. Next some small plants of Water Hassan root and the beautiful Wabikusa Monte Carlo. Going healthy and strong as well. Red root floaters zoom in. I love these red roots. Benze Kena Red, I'm putting this as uh, emerge uh, plants, alright, growing pretty healthy uh, as well so far. All my gold streams are uh, healthy, alright, so far until at the day 22. And let's continue to see my other plants as well at day 22, all are healthy and uh, growing, alright, growing strong. Day 25, I saw this strange creature. Do you know what is this? If no, please comment below. Comment below. 